Sepatutnya dalam press conference ini Sidangnya Anwar Ibrahim itu dari So dari Azizah hadir Tapi mereka kirim salam dan minta maaf yang banyak Dan keadaan tidak membenarkan Anwar datang Dan saya berazizah pun ada tugas-tugas yang lain yang harus dilakukannya Dalam keadaan yang berubah ini um, saya ingin menyentuh sedikit tentang tentang tuduhan-tuduhan yang telah dibuat terhadap Ibrahim. Ini seolah-olah cerita lama yang dibangunkan. Usaha untuk mengait dan menjuruhkan Ibrahim. Dan memang ini suatu cara yang digunakan untuk membunuh Membunuh Politik Saudara Anwar Bahkan Kami sendiri dan saya sendiri Mendapat maklumat Bahawa usaha menjalankan pembunuhan ini Bukan semata-mata Pembunuhan politik Bukan saya itu Assassinate him politically Tetapi kalau boleh untuk Membunuh beliau Physically To kill him physically dan oleh kerana itu, kita membuat persiapan-persiapan untuk memastikan keselamatan beliau terjadi. Jadi, apakah sebabnya? Apakah sebabnya mereka tak membunuh secara fizikal dan politikal oleh Anwar? Why is it yang so, so keen to kill Anwar politically and, and physically? Sebabnya, ada dua sebab besar. Satu ialah kerana ketakutan, ketakutan pemerintah sekarang Sekiranya berlaku perubahan politik dan pertandingan negeri ini Their great fear that they will change of administration of government in the country There is so much at stake for them and they will have to stop At all cost, they change Dan itulah yang mereka tak lakukan eh? Jadi ada kepentingan dan interest dan kepentingan yang besar terutama sekali di kalangan kepentingan dan kalangan pemerintah sekarang supaya tidak berubah, tidak berlaku perubahan. Perkara keduanya, perkara keduanya ialah bahawa ada saudara Anwar mempunyai dokumen yang jelas. Dokumen yang jelas, bukti yang jelas bahawa dalam perbicaraan dia dulu Perbicaraan dia dulu pada tahun, daripada tahun 1998 Dua orang besar negara ini iaitu IGP dan AG Two important officers of this country The, the, the AG and the IGP Manipulated, manipulated evidence okay? Fabricated evidence against Anwar These are documentary proofs that are with him He had this the documentary proof more than two weeks ago. Dia mempunyai ayat-ayat bukti ini lebih daripada dua minggu yang lalu. Tetapi dia tidak mahu mengumumkannya kerana tidak mahu mengkaburi banyak masalah yang sudah dihadapi sekarang. He knew of this documentary evidence two weeks ago but he wouldn't disclose them in view of the so many things that has been happening and he doesn't, doesn't want to water down the effect of those things now, sekarang oleh kerana ada percubaan terhadap beliau selepas selepas press conference ini beberapa orang pemimpin uh, penipati akan pergi membuat uh, uh, ya uh, apa ni lepas tak tentu lagi pukul berapa kan tapi selepas habis itu Uh, di sini pemimpin parti akan pergi buat laporan uh, polis terhadap tindakan-tindakan yang dilakukan oleh dua pembesar tadi untuk fabricate dan uh, yang fabricate juga atau dalam dalam Sort of, you know, the, 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 the,
It's more than SMS messages. No, no bullets. We won't, we won't consider sending bullets as, 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 as that serious, you know. We have the mayor. I don't think we will disclose to you the nature and the source of the, of the threat. But it is a real threat. Well, uh, well, he there is fear for his safety, and we want him to be in a safe place. And he is. He's in a safe place. We uh, well, well, we think he's in a safe place now. Will he remain in the country or is he leaving the country? There is no decision on that. One, one thing is that whatever Anwar does, he doesn't do it on his own volition. He consults, he consults the leadership and whatever decision is made, is made by the leadership together with him. So whether he stays in this country or goes overseas won't be his own personal decision. It's a party decision. That threat against him is real. That threat, that that threat is real. That, that threat is, has, has been there for, you know, for the past one week. So, well, in fact, since, you know, since uh, uh, the government especially became convinced that he might have the number for a change of government. And especially, again, after uh, the AG and, uh, and, AG and, uh, and the IGP have been, you know, publicated in certain documented proof to show that they have uh, fabricated uh, uh, Has any foreign government offered to, uh, to help the protection? Well, personally, I don't know whether it's that. I think there will be many, many foreign governments who would like to have him because his contact with, uh, with uh, foreign governments and foreign leaders okay. is very good. Has any foreign government contacted him? Well, I don't know. You may tell me, you know. Doctor, doctor. There was these uh, rumors going around that Anwar is actually uh, seeking uh, asylum from a certain embassy. Can well, you comment on that? Rumors, you say? Yes. There are sometimes rumors are true, but in this case, I don't think it's true. So Anwar, uh, Dr. Anwar is not at the at foreign embassy, right? Well, I really don't know. Doctor, if the death threat was known within these past few weeks, why is it now uh, you are know, choosing to announce it after an allegation of sodomy has been launched? Why not earlier? Because it's such a major thing. Come on, somebody's going to try and kill Anua. Wouldn't you let the public know so that you can have some folks say No, but that, that in itself will create fear. Fear among our, among our followers mm -hmm. and fear even among, our, among those people who, who want to come to us. So we, are, you know, we, we have to weigh the positive and negative aspects and uh, we didn't want to create, you know, it won't create just fear among us, but it will create in a sort of instability within society and in the country. And we don't want that to happen. Well, by announcing it now, wouldn't that also strike fear that society might be disappeared? Well, because, because what is being done now by government is enough to create the disability. Uh, the other side, is the party in touch with the police yet? Uh, the police was here uh, until this morning, right? In the hotel. So they were in touch with us. <laughs> Prof, uh, what is the message Anwar gave to party members of the following this new run of allegations of civil uh, Because speaking to, to members outside, your members are uh, angry uh, at this new allegation that has taken and instead of Anwar, and this rumor about him being arrested because he was taken to the streets. You know, is there any message to come back up? Well, certainly we wouldn't want to do things unlawfully and uh, to go beyond, uh, beyond, uh, uh, beyond things that we create. Uh, create uh, well, we don't want it to cause any, any, any uh, instability. Certainly, uh, because we want uh, peace and order to be maintained. Because the government would want to see certain Stability, certain trouble, right. so that they can crack down, crack down upon the position, especially on the and uh, to probably proclaim all kinds of new of, 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 of acts of law, you know, which can outside the freedom. Uh, Abdullah, in his press conference, he said that the government is not behind this new round of sex litigation. Uh, well, if, if he's not around, if he's not behind it, who is? Is he saying now it's the AG and the police and the IGP? Uh, Doctor, sekarang ni, orang nak tengok Dato' Si Anwar 
Mereka penjelasan sikit dalam soal ni Kenapa dia tidak berada di sini Dari segi keselamatan dia Kita nasihatkan dia Mesti pergi ke tempat yang selamat Dan dia dibawa ke tempat yang selamat tak, Keselamatan di segi apa? Saya rasa tidak jadi Biasanya Dato' Sri boleh berada tak di mana-mana Pertama mana. sekali kita tak nak dia pergi yang Tidak diselamatkan oleh polis ni Kita tidak mahu Dia tidak diselamatkan oleh polis ni Now,